Hello, my name is Anthony Scott. I'm with group number five, and we're here today to talk to you about planning your career. Actually, I am here today, and I'm going to actually go over a few tips and things that'll help you in getting your career started while you're still in college. Well, personally, for me, uh, in the field I am, and I am a film major, um, planning your career is all about networking, and there's plenty of ways you can do that. Um, first of all, the, the most prevalent thing is internships. You can get an internship at almost anywhere. And just the key thing is to look for one, find one, and you know, just make sure you make, you stick with it. And if you do what you're supposed to do, then it can definitely, and it probably will lead to other things. Um, Get out and volunteer while you're on campus. A lot of the volunteering activities that are that are available to students and youth are a great way to find and meet other people. And there's no telling what they can do for you or you can do them for them that will help you in your future and in your career. Also, get to know some of your professors. And you know, some of the professors that you like, and you know, you I'm sure that you have one or two that you like that you're able to talk to. No, outside of a class setting, get to know them because they know people. I promise you, they know people that will help you. And if you get to know them, they'll be able to help you. You know. Um, also, you know, getting just working, working in general, while you're in college, um, especially the work study campus, a uh, work study program, working on campus can lead a to a lot of great things while you're in college. So networking is a huge thing. Getting to know other people. If you get to know other people, then you will have many opportunities. <coughs> Excuse me. Another very important thing is make sure you know what you want to do. A lot of people come into the college you know, and we talk about planning our careers. A lot of people come into college not knowing what they want to do. And I could sit here and tell you that there are several ways to figure out how you want to do and what you want to do. And for me, it's two simple things. And I think this can apply to everybody. First of all, make sure what you what you are planning to do is what you want to do for the rest of your life. What you want to do. And it's something that you're going to like to do. Some, something that's not work for you. It may be your job, but make sure it is not work because if it is work, then you will not enjoy it and it's not something that you will be able to stick with it. And two, make sure you're, you're good at it, you're fairly skilled at it, or you have some sort of aptitude or training for it. It, it just makes things, it, this, is, this one's not a necessarily the hardest steadfast rule, but it'll make things go a lot smoother and easier for you. Um, the third and final thing, I the tip I can give you about planning your career is make sure you you do all of your work. Now I know this is it really doesn't have anything to do directly with having a career, but being on top of your of your stuff in college will help you be on top of your stuff outside of the workplace. If you if you're organized and then you're you're on top of everything in your school life, your transition the transition into your career after college will go a lot smoother. If you if you if you got your master schedule, if you got your study time out with your, with your outside activities, if you got all that planned together, and if you if you can do that in college, when you get into the workplace, you can easily carry that over to whatever you have to do and um these so those are that's what i have to say about planning your career and these are just a couple of things that i have found um that make your career or at least starting your career successful and a whole lot easier and um now we're going to get into the main part of my presentation with our powerpoint uh thank you